23rd of August 2019. This is Sergey Baklakov and my video blog. I continue to extend its geography. So today I came to one of the most distant places in Russia. I have been to the largest city of in the world beyond the Arctic Circle with a population of almost uh, 300,000 residents. The city, which is located on the coast of uh, Kola Bay, which is a part of Barents Sea, which is a part of Arctic Ocean. The city of Mamonsk, the capital of uh, Mamonsk region. You know, you say Mamonsk, suppose the seaports, you say Mamonsk, suppose uh, the fishing industry. So first of all, I came to uh, the uh, Mamonsk seaport. The city of Mamonsk is located in the northwest of Russia, in 1,000 kilometers up north from Saint Petersburg. Founded in 1916 with a priority purpose to have an independent from other countries access to Arctic Ocean through non-freezing waters. The name Momonsk most probably came from the word Momon, and that one came from Norman, which means the northern man. That's how Mormons, uh, Russians used to call the uh, Norwegians. Also, the coastline from nowadays Mormonsk to Norway, where Russians made deals with Norwegians, they called Momon. So it's like literally the city on Momon, and even the original name of the city, Romanov on Mormon, and then uh, it was renamed to uh, Russian manor Mormonsk. It's curious, but all the icebreakers of Russia are hosted by the seaports of Mormonsk, and uh, if you will come here, definitely you will see at least uh, this one, which is expired, but it is always here. You can look at this, you can get inside, because there's uh, located the uh, Museum of Arctic of Mormonsk. It is called Lenin, named after Vladimir Lenin, the founder of USSR. Mamonsk played an important role in World War II because exactly from here the United States and Great Britain delivered their support for the Soviet army by the Land Lease program. Another big thing here is the fishing industry. Yes, in USSR times, Mamonsk used to provide 200 thousand tons of fresh fish every day for the whole country. Now, seaport consisted of three parts, fish ports, passenger ports and trade ports, which is providing a huge amount of uh, coal export. <laughs> Before the World War II, the city had mostly wooden housing. Knowing a huge support of the United States and Britons goes through Mamonsk, Hitler wanted to destroy it and bombs with incendiary bombs. So the city was almost burned out, but after the war, along with Moscow and St. Petersburg, Mamonsk got to the short list of uh, 15 Soviet cities for priority recovery. That's why here is a kind of expected architecture in the city center that's mostly a Stalinist architecture and then more plain multi-flat panel buildings. Only after seven years after the war, the city got to the pre-war level of housing, but in the next 10 years it's growing up three times. The active development of the city went up until 1990s, until the USSR collapsed. After the seaports of Mamonsk, the next must-visit place is definitely the Green Cape and the memorial for defenders of uh, Soviet Arctic in World War II. The amount of bombing of Mamonsk is only yield to uh, bombing of Stalingrad, which is nowadays called Volgograd. And it's curious that this memorial of defenders of Soviet Arctic, by its size, is also only yield to uh, uh, Volgograd and its memorial of Mother Russia. This memorial in Momonsk is also known as Alyosha, just Alyosha. That's a cute form of popular Russian name Alexei. 
the image of Alyosha here is just like a collective image of an average Soviet soldier, just a simple Russian man who had to go to defend his lands. The soldier in battlefields Alyosha for those who are waiting for him at home. The height of pedestal is 7 meters, the height of sculpture itself is 35 meters, so in total 42 meters in height or 140 feet. Staying yet on a high hill of Kola Bay, it looks really impressive. The very center of the city, the place which is called uh, Five Corners, this is the square, there's the park, here is the beginning of uh, the main streets of the city, uh, Prospect Lenina, Lenin Avenue, and uh, here there's the coat of arms of Mamonsk, and uh, also here is located two of uh, the best hotels of the city, Meridian and uh, Azimut Hotel Arctica. I live here now at the 13th floor. This is the tallest buildings in this city, 18 floors. The youth of Momonsk on the central square of the city. I've noticed that the public transportation in Momonsk kind of developed. And uh, what I loved is that uh, here are mostly uh, trolley buses, which is good. I think they are much better than buses, not only from the uh, point of view of ecology, but they just give a kind of special flavor to the city. Ninety percent of population of Momonsk are Russian, so the main religion here is an Orthodox Christianity and the main cathedral in the city, Church of the Savior on Waters. Nevertheless, Momonsk is not limited with only an Orthodox Christianity. In the city here are also Catholics, Protestants, uh, evangelists, Muslims, uh, in total about 15 different religions in this city. Even though it's a real north beyond the Arctic Circle, the climate here is a kind of temperate in Momonsk because the warm Gulf Stream not too much but affects the Barents Sea. At one of the hills above Kola Bay there's a kind of touching sculpture which is called a wedding dedicated to the woman awaiting for her sailor. The idea of the sculpture came yet in 1970s to dedicate it to all women who are waiting for their sailors from the long sea trips. But its time came only in 2012. Through Marmons goes the federal route which is called Kola, and this is the bridge which is also called Kola. This is the biggest bridge in the world which is located beyond the Arctic Circle, opens in 2005. As stated from the name, it goes through the Kola Bay. Here is only about uh, 220 kilometers until the Norway, same as many St. Petersburg residents often visit Finland because it's close. Many Momonsk residents are driving to Norway and vice versa. Momonsk is one of the cities you can experience the polar days and polar nights when the sun never goes down for up to 24 hours in the summertime or never goes up for up to 24 hours at winters. Also, in Momonsk region, you can see one of the most beautiful things of nature, the northern lights. 9 p.m. Getting back to my hotel. And I hope you enjoyed this one day in Momonsk. Traditionally, comment, like, subscribe if you're not yet. And stay tuned because uh, after tomorrow I will go even deeper and more distant than Momonsk. See you.